This is the Mini A Heli. It comes down on the helicopter recovery. Once the uh, there you go. Once the ejection charge fires, it burns off this piece of thread here, and the helicopter wings pop out, and then it spins on its way back. It is expected to sail off for quite a long time. So hopefully we got it back. Again, the winds are still light and variable. Temperature is still in the high 20s. We have a light. I can see the I feel like the wind's going that way. We're all good in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Straight up, straight shot. There it goes. I can see all three blades deploying. Here it comes down. Oh, nice shot. That's drifting down range nicely. I don't, I think we're going to get it right back within the confines of the field. Nice recovery. Perfect shot. Nice. So building the uh, Mini A Heli is not particularly easy. It's a fairly sophisticated kit. You end up chopping up the body tube into three pieces, as you can see here. And there are a wide variety of balsa and cardboard parts, all nicely laser cut. But uh, there is some sophisticated uh, techniques required, especially a little later on when we get to the hinges here. We're just building a pretty standard mini rocket with engine and mounts and fins and all the usual stuff. It's once we get to the uh, helicopter recovery piece that things get a little more difficult. Um, as we can see here, again, pretty standard rocket for the first part of it, once you've got the pieces chopped up into the required sizes. Here we're going to build a, uh, put the body spacer in to be able to attach the top part so that the rocket ends up being fairly long. And here are the hinge pieces and the required uh, alignment tools. The hinges themselves are pretty sophisticated to put together. You've got to be very careful to get them lined up correctly. Um, they have, do provide dowel to help with that, which also ends up being part of the hinges a little later on. Um, also, you can see that they're fairly small because, of course, this is a mini uh, rocket. Um, you end up cutting more holes in the body tube, which took me a while to convince myself that that's the way it is, but it is, for venting the exhaust gases on the recovery charge. Then you make up the heli piece. You end up scoring the balsa and snapping it. Um, at which point I realized that I'm not going to be going for long distance uh, recovery on this one. I just want it to work correctly. So I ended up painting it while I was building it because I wasn't sure that uh, when to paint it. And they kind of recommend you don't because they're expecting you to want it to stay up for several minutes. There are strengtheners here for the helicopter blades and then the uh, building of the hinges. Um, as you can see here, and of course that requires that piece of dowel to go in for the uh, hinges to be able to snap up. They use elastic bands for that, which come along a little later. But a nice kit, uh, a nice sophisticated build, not recommended for beginners. Uh, please like and subscribe and help an old sailor out. Thanks a lot.